Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are joined here today by two marvelous actors, Mr. Mateo and Mr. Other Mate uh, Moises Arias. Say hola to everybody here. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hola, hola. All right. Perfect. Perfect. And we're here to talk about this fantastic film you guys have coming out next month called Blast Beat. Is that right? That's correct. All right. And for everybody that's not aware, a blast beat is a term used in hardcore and death metal. It's when the snare and this kick drum are simultaneously hit at the same time, as well as the cymbal. Am I correct there? That I is believe. very correct. Oh, yeah. You I, mean, I, I do appreciate me some hardcore. That's that's something we'll get we'll get into later on here when we crack that nut open. Uh, could you guys do your best to kind of describe blast beat in a nutshell for people who haven't seen it or aren't aware about it? Yeah, sure. I guess it's basically the essence of it is, uh, you know, the experience of a, of a Colombian family moving to Georgia, to the States. Um, and in my particular case, Carly's character uh, pursuing aerospace engineering and hopefully working at NASA. And it's basically the story of, uh, you know, of this family adapting to the times and adapting to, you know, the culture shock um, and the dynamic between two brothers and their experiences in the States, you know. I Would like you add that. to that more? I don't know. I think that's... I, I'd, I'd say it's, that's basically it. I was, I was just going to say that, uh, you know, uh, the dynamic between the two brothers is sort of, I wouldn't say diametrically opposite, but definitely different. One's a little more destructive while the other is a little more academic and, and sort of, uh, you know, uh, a little more weight on his shoulders to, uh, to carry. I like that. And I, I like that you're, the way you explain that, uh, Moises, because I really feel like uh, Mateo, ironically, your character called Mateo, who's the younger brother, because in this case, Mateo is also still younger than you. Am I correct there, Moises? Yes. Yeah, so, so Moises plays Mateo, who is the younger brother, but in real life is the older brother. Yeah. Yes. Is that weird? Yeah. It's, I thought that was so cool. I was like, that's, that's a mind <laughs> F right there. That's good stuff. Yeah. yeah what's, what's, what's crazy is me and Mateo, uh, I've always said have sort of like a twin dynamic because um, I'm the older brother, but Mateo's taller by pff, quite a bit and has <laughs> been since we were like five. So um, yeah, I've never been able to like, bully him or be like oh yeah that's my little brother it's always been like yo that's mateo yeah that's my bro and uh our our best friend is both of our best friend and you know it's uh it's definitely been interesting and unique can relate my brother is about 320 pounds so <laughs> and like five six but yeah i relate bro so i get it. it's my little brother too so what I wanted to, what I was going to get at there was that you guys' weights are completely different. Your weight, uh, you know, Mateo's weight, you know, in the movie, his weight is that he has to succeed in order to accomplish a almost unimaginable goal from someone in his background. While, the character of Carly, yes. Yeah, Carly. While, you know, the character of Mateo's weight is from not having to experience something completely outside of his normality. Yeah, you know, he's used to being that he doesn't want to experience. Which yeah, is, you know, when you're fighting anything in life, it's a difficult thing. And so it's like the character of Mateo not wanting to adapt to the situation makes it all the more difficult. I yeah. totally agree with you on that. That was a great, that's good analysis there. You should yeah, be doing my job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah got that. Some immaturity to, to the character of Mateo that was sort of hard to tap into because, you know, I'm not set 17 anymore. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I was just going to say. That's kind of the thing when you have to play a little bit younger, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, right. I wanted to talk to you guys about this cast because you guys got some absolute bangers on this cast oh, up and yeah, down, man. Do. Greatest. The greatest right. cast. I want to, um, yeah, off top, Diane Guerrero, who plays Robert. our mother, is, yeah. But we, had, we were able to spend the most time with Diane. She's a gem. She's amazing. And, and I never and I never shot with Daniel Day, but we uh, were at Sundance together, and he's a... Uh, a, a force. He's a Daniel, force. Mr. Daniel Day Kim, I feel honored to have you know shared scenes with him, and he was probably, yeah, one of the most prepared, most one of the yeah, man. Just like he was one of those was those people that you were just kind of like in awe of in a way, you know. And you just yep. he just demands respect, his presence, as well as Wilmer too. You know, he's like a more lighthearted, really kind of like an essential energy that we didn't really have there for a second. I agree. And we're brought kind of like the playfulness and a certain seriousness, um, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, I mean, for sure, Diane, Wilmer, Danny, and, yeah, Will. and everyone else that we, you know, partied with in, in, in the scenes, like all the uh, Georgia locals and, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, girlfriends and friends and stuff like that. The, the, the cast is really special. Um, it was uh, really beautiful to start on a short film 
me and Tay will still be there, our, our director and our writer there, our cinematographer there, and tra transfer into the feature, and, and it'd be mostly the same crew and the people that, uh, you know, signed up for, for, for the feature uh, just took it to that level, just took it to the level of, you know, this isn't a short film, this isn't a, this is a, a, a film about a struggle, and um, the people involved uh, fight for that in real life. Diane fights for, for Latinx um, communities. Uh, yeah, communities and, and, and opportunity. And um, I, that really helped the film because, uh, you know, we're, we're going through a tough time, Colombia particularly. And um, it's just nice. It's very timely to, um, you know, sort of have a film that can uh, start the conversation or, or explain a little bit of uh, something else that's not narcos or, you know, uh, the stereotype of Colombia. Mm -hmm. That is a great uh, summation of everything. And, and you're right about Colombia. And I'm sad to hear about that because as, as an Central American myself, uh, those, that area of the world does need some help. Yeah. Uh, I also agree with you on Daniel. I met him at Sundance and that guy's presence. He has an aura about him. Yes, man. Yes, he really, really does. When I found out that I was going to, you know, that he was going to play the professor, I was so stoked. And you know what I'm saying? Being on set, like Moises was saying, he really was some of the most prepared. He was, you know, so present and so amazing, kind of like to feed off of. And, you know, we've kept the relationship going after the film, which I'm very grateful for because I respect him very much and, you know, and appreciate what he does for his community as well. And just the type of person he is, is, you know, someone I definitely admire and respect. I love that. Also, I'm telling Diane everything you said about her on Monday. <laughs> I'll be talking to her on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I would absolutely love her. And she's the one. I will yeah. tell her exactly that. I said, I'll tell her Mateo and Moises send their love. Uh, mm -hmm. Now you talked about it. it. It was a short film and I actually watched the short film an hour and a half before I went to go see this at Sundance. Wow. Cool. Because I was like, I need to be prepared just in case I, I over prepare. I don't know. <laughs> Legend. You know what I mean? That's a great, and, that's a great way to experience the film, honestly. Dude, yeah, I was just going to say that, that for me, it helped me when I got to the film. I was like, damn, that shit was so good. <laughs> and I just wanted to commend you guys for making a hell of a picture, man. I, I walked out of that thing at Sundance and it was a last minute thing on the schedule. I was like, I need something to fill the spot that has a dope ass title. I love, I love hardcore blast beat, all that. And I, I went and saw it when I found out what it was about and all that shit. And I saw that picture of, of Mateo rocking the long hair as a long haired hippie myself. I was like, I gotta yeah. see this shit, dude. I gotta really see this shit right now. We really appreciate it, bro. I'm glad, I'm glad that all those little uh, accents sort of, uh, you know, that, 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 yeah, caught your attention. That's the that's the point of designing a character or a, or a film's tone or, or all these things. So I'm glad that all that worked. You said literally the title attracted you. That's fantastic. Dude, yeah. I mean, because there was a, there was two films with the word beat in them and uh, or well, similar words in them, like Blast Beat. And the other one was called Beat Beast Beast. And I'm like, OK, so what the hell's the difference? I saw both of them. They're very different. Um, <laughs> your film really just gets to the there's a heart to it that's hidden under this absolute darkness. Mm -hmm. But I think that it shines through whenever the two of you are together. Mm. You know wow. what I mean? And the, your brotherliness comes through on the screen. It's, it's undeniable, right? Thank you, bro. Thank you. I mean, yeah, we'd like to think so, yeah. And we'd also like to think that, that we can ignore that, too. Me and Taylor, have we ever done something where we don't play each other's family members? Like, that'd be interesting. We want to do that. I don't think we've done it yet. I don't think we've done that. We've got the right guy to work with in Esteban here. Uh, can you talk yeah. about working with Esteban? Yeah, Esteban and Eric both. I want to just name them both because they're a, a power duo. And those dudes seeded this from the very beginning. Um, very intelligent, very, you know, obviously the most important part about this film and them specifically is that they're both authentically, you know, they're authentic Colombian, born in Colombia, raised in Colombia. And they had the experience of this film. You know, they wrote this for Moises and I based on their lives. You know, these characters are based on them. Uh, Eric's younger brother is literally graduating this year as, a, as an engineer. I, I, I want to say an aerospace engineer, like he really does this. Um, and so, yeah, working with those dudes was, um, it was just, one, it was an easy thing to do because we kind of developed chemistry over the short film. Um, so by the time the feature came around, they're, they're already like family to us. Um, so it was very easy just to like, you know, there's no bullshit to get through in the sense of like, you know, you cut through any notes or any certain type of energy that they're trying to get out of you. It's just very direct and we understand each other. Um, 
yeah, we were talking about this a little bit a little bit ago, but um, you know, it takes place in the in the early 2000s, in the year 2000, really. Um, and so it was really helpful for my brother and I, because you know, in Spanish, sometimes we were using in scenes we would use modern lingo, you know, certain lingo that was a little too modern, and so you know, they would be there quick to correct us um, and let us know, you know, be like, yo. This is, you know, try something like this. This is more of like what it was like for, you know what I mean? They really were, like I said, they are those characters. So it was easy for us to kind of mirror and ask questions. And, you know, they were there for us and just great dudes. We love them very much. It's so interesting to hear that they got to on you about the colloquialisms, uh, which I guess that makes sense because Spanish is such a colloquial based language, especially mm -hmm. when you have region specific like Colombia. Mm -hmm. um, I know uh, that we only have about uh, one more time for about one more question. So I'm going to leave this to you guys to tell people why they need to see Blast Beat before we go. Yeah, Blast Beat is a, a story of, of brothers. It's a story of struggle. It's a story of uh, being pulled from your roots and, and, and I guess replanted. Um, and what you uh, do in, in, in a position like that uh, with the opportunities given um, making the best of the situation. Um, yeah, a story of triumph and transformation as well. Keep and it's two brothers, and they both have their own path. They're one's destructive, one's uh, carrying the 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 family. Um, and really, it's a story also of the uh, the American dream. You know what I'm saying, and what it means. You know, I think it's important, and what I really would want people to get from it is just like a really authentic story, and it tells a different. Uh, it kind of colors Colombia in a different way, in a positive way. That's not the traditional, you know, Pablo that we see so often and that is so deeply now connected, you know, Colombia and Pablo, it's like, there's so much more beauty, so much more stories, um, you know, to our culture. And this is just one of them. Um, and I feel like it's important, you know, it's, and it's timely for the time, right? It's exactly. time for right now, you know, there's a lot of people yeah. going through it and uh, not only in the States, it, it can translate to, to any place in the world. I think I think you did Columbia proud with this thing. Uh, great job, guys! Thank you. Uh, you good. really did paint a beautiful picture of a wonderful section of the world that people definitely need to give a a fair shake, and they don't. So, great job, gentlemen! Uh, shout yeah. out to to Cali Uchis for showing up in there. Oh, Cali! We didn't mention Cali, bro. <laughs> Cali and the thing. She's such a legend. I'm so grateful that she was able to be a part of this picture. I was a fan. I know we run out of time, but like I was a fan of hers before the picture. And when, you know, we found out that she was going to work with us, I was very, very excited. She did a fantastic job. She was super easy to work with, hella prepared. And yeah, Callie. I knew her. you were going to, I knew somebody was going to explode when I mentioned that. Cause, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gee, man. Love Callie. Yeah. What's not to love? She seems like a nice gal. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. Thank you guys so much for sharing your story with us, sharing this film with us. We appreciate you. Anything else you need to want to say out there to the film snobs out there before we let you go? And thank you. I hope y'all enjoy and uh, great talking to you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate your time, boys. Appreciate you, Mateo. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What was thank your you. name, bro? William with Film Snob Reviews. We're here, and I was just going to do the outro for you right now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's been Moises and Mateo Arias talking about Blast Beat. If you don't see this film, you're out of your mind. Vertical Entertainment's putting this out in the middle of June. Go see this thing. It is dope as hell. The soundtrack is dope. These dudes are dope. Check it out. Later, gentlemen. We out. Take care, brother.